Hello and welcome back to another episode of Flower Gold Wizards in the can. This is my 15,000 subscriber giveaway can. People all over the world donate gold and other goodies to go along with this. And when I hit 15,000 subs, I'm going to give it away to a random commenter. So don't go away. Let's find out what's going in the can today. Today's in the can item comes all the way from Tanana, Alaska. Every prospector's bucket lister, I tell you that. Right out of the Yukon River, a guy named Daniel Sams sent it to me. He sent me 15 pounds of unsearched, classified to a quarter inch Yukon River dirt. No gold added. <laughs> For the can. That is awesome. That was quite the package. My wife said she could hardly lift it. I'm currently working out of town, staying in hotels, so when I got home and saw this, along with a couple other packages, needless to say, I was excited. Now I went ahead and I opened the top up here and I dumped out just a little bit in a pan just to see what I was dealing with. And it's, look, it's real sandy looking, but it's extremely, extremely dirty. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is uh, I got a tub full of water over here. We're going to go ahead and dump all that stuff right in there. We're going to swish it around and wash all the clay and muck out of there because I want to run this all over my my uh, Devon Gold VDR cleanup sluice here. I got that from Infinity Prospecting, and I've seen a number of other um, channels out there using them. They're catching on, and I tell you why, because they work awesome. So that's what we're going to do today. Let me start dumping this stuff right in here, just like that. See how dirty that is? Look at all that dust going floating around here. We'll get that all dumped into there. It might take a little bit. And we'll begin our swishing process. Speaking of swishing, I got a little something to swish around too. We got all my meat sticks in here. <laughs> I gotta swish my mouth out a little bit too. That's right. Back in a bit. All that material's down inside of this water here. Look at all, look at how mucky that stuff is. If you weren't kidding, that come right off your shovel. Ay ay ay. So we'll just go ahead and swish all this stuff around and it may, might take a couple of times. I got a few other pails of clean water sitting here. So I'll just swish all that around, try to separate some of that clay off of there. Tell you what, I'm gonna grab my little kitchen type strainer device here. I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of that out of there and see what that looks like. Maybe I can pick me up a gold nugget like that uh, Golden Beard channel. <laughs> and there are a number of uh, pebbles in there, etc. And I'll probably classify this down to a kitchen type strainer device size and small and run the smalls over my sluice like I typically would coming home from the creek. So I think I've got that good and swished around. I'm gonna dump this dump this nasty water out and do repeat the process. That way I'll be able to see what's accumulating on my cleanup sluice when we begin that process. Back in a bit. I've got that material all nice and washed up. I did it, I don't know, four or five times. It was really dirty, but I think uh, this will suffice our needs. Now all I gotta do is uh, run that through my kitchen strainer type device. And we'll separate the bigs from the littles. The only problem is my little spoon here is getting pretty worn down to a nub. Can hardly get anything on there no more. I wonder, without running all the way to town, where I could possibly get another spoon that I could use. <laughs> and we'll just take a little walk up to the local Walmart here. Yeah, it shouldn't take long at all. Nobody's here. Oh boy. <laughs> and we'll see what's in here. Well, we got a virtual schooler. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Score. This is better than Walmart. No lines, no nothing. Mrs. Wizard will probably never miss that. Why don't you go telling on me now? I didn't see anything. All right. <laughs> He's taking a nap. Oops, almost forgot. 
grab that too. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. And last week we panned out some gold from Infinity Prospecting, and I had you guys guess to see how much gold was there. Well, guess what? We have a winner. It's Iron Jim number seven. He came in at 1.38. He was the first one to hit it right on the money. Congratulations, Jim. Uh, go ahead and get my email out of the description box below, and we'll get together, and I'm going to ship you off a bag of pay dirt. All right, we've got our nice clean material here. We've got our new spoon. <laughs> and we've got our little classifier. Let's throw some material in there, see what it looks like. There we are. Ooh, that's a piece of cake. Piece of cake. And there's uh, a little bit more than it in here than it looks like is in the material in that tub. So I'm going to take, uh, let's see, what do we got here? I got my little cleanup pan. We'll go ahead and throw the bigs right in there. And I'll do two of these at a time per one of, the, per one of these here. I'll put some water in that tub right there, and we'll pan it out. Let me grab another one of them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, piece of cake. And we're washing it out a little bit more. It looks like I might have been able to do that wash process one more time. But I think this is going to do the job. So let me get this stuff all done, and we'll take a look at it. Back in a bit. Ooh -wee. It's break time. <laughs> that looks way better. Yeah. yeah. Here's one of those uh, double scoopers right there. Here's the material. First thing I want to do is check it for magnetics. Here's my magnet checker type device. Move that around there a little bit. And there isn't much of anything. A couple little pieces. Those even magnetic. Yeah, they still stick on there. That's not much at all. Well, this might be a piece of cake. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a little easier than I thought. Well, I can't wait to get up to Alaska. That place is going to be a piece of cake. Just kidding. But it sure would be fun. Let me get uh, get one of these all the way down. As I do have a number of them, and nobody wants to sit and watch me pan all that out. And you never know what you're going to get out of this big stuff. Now, I know the package said no added gold. But you never know what somebody's going to do for fun with the old Flower Gold Wizard channel. And we'll roll that back. And I don't see any gold in that stuff at all. Maybe one tiny little dot that... Uh, that got stuck in there. Yep, one tiny little dot. Oh, that doesn't even move. I think that's just stuck to my pan. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to continue the process. Back in a bit. But. All right, here we go. I've got all my small material in there. I'll go ahead and turn the water on on my cleanup sluice here. Yeah, it's pretty tough to see with the glare I got going on here, but you get the gist of what I'm doing. I'll try to get a glare-free shot in just a minute. Once I get up and running here, I'm going to get all the bubbles out. And I do have my bilge pump speed controller set up. And I'm starting off just a little bit low till I find out what this material is all about. Let's begin. And instantly I can tell this is really, really light material. It just washed right on off of there. And I know that if this thing is holding on to that much light blonde sands like that, that the gold or the, the black sand and gold, if there is any, is definitely getting trapped because this thing works awesome. I could turn this baby up on high and still save not in the 90 percentage of the gold on high on this thing. It's just, the thing is nuts. So let me throw a bunch of scoops on there. This won't take long at all. This stuff is uh, incredibly light, and it's it really paid off to wash this stuff too. I can see right down in these ripples here, and all these drop drop riffles. So um, let me throw about ten on there, and then we'll take a look at um, at how we're doing. I got a bit. All right, I think I got a good angle on on my light situation here. I'll go ahead and throw one on there, just like such. You see how that just melts right on and off of there. That's all really, really light uh, material. There's hardly any black sand in that stuff. And you see how these ripples 
these little drop ripples are really circulating around and behind those little eyebrows on the top. If that's holding on to any amount of sand at all, light blonde sand like, like we're looking at, this baby is catching the gold. 100% guarantee it. And it's doing the same thing all the way down. This technology is really quite something. I can't thank you guys enough for sending me that thing. All right, I don't see any gold yet. Maybe a speck or two. Oh, sure, there is a couple specks in there. For raw, unsearched dirt, I think we're going to be in business. This is fun. Back in a bit. Video update. It's looking good. I don't even think I'm quite half done yet, and the gold's showing up now. Take a little look-see in there. Lots of gold showing up, and it's just micro, micro fine stuff. Now, I am accumulating a small amount of black or some of that really super light gray sand that you find here and there, but it's definitely, definitely catching gold. So I'm happy, I'm very pleased with this. It's it's actually quite fun. I can really feed this baby fast. I can stop running it just to see what's accumulating down in these uh, little vortices here. And there is a speck of tour gold showing up right behind those little eyebrows and down in those little uh, spinnerets there or whatever. So I think we're running exactly the way I should be. Piece of cake. Back in a bit. Video update 3017 and 4. Alright, we've been running here. We're getting there now. And I noticed that I am starting to build up a little bit more black sand. But as you can see, there is some gold in there. However, my black sand, you don't really want it to accumulate in these tiny, small riffles like that because that's where you're going to catch a lot of your gold right off the get-go. And I'll tell you how I, how I fix that. Well, I go to my speed controller here and I turn it up a little bit. Just a little bit till that black sand starts to clear out of there. And it is already. That is just the best little tool that you could possibly have right there. And I've got mine from Washington Beach Mining. That guy sells a lot of cool stuff and that might be the coolest. I'll take that over a few bags of gold pay dirt any day of the week. Oh yeah, you can already tell that those ripples are clearing out. Now I don't wanna just blow them right out, right off the bat. Uh, if I wanted to get this stuff down to pure gold, uh, I may try that. But right now I'm in capture mode and we're capturing it. Back in a bit. All right, I've got all that material out of my cleanup sluice in this here pan. There's my big old sausage there. We wound up with probably less than a teaspoon. I cranked her up just a little bit, only because I could. Now, if I was running, say, beach sand or something, I might not have been able to get away with it, but uh, this stuff was extremely light, and uh, it really, that sluice made mincemeat out of this stuff, and that's all that's left is a little bit of light, uh, looks like maybe some granite gravels or whatnot, a little bit of garnet sand in there, and not much black sand at all, but look at all the pieces of gold showing up. That little sluice catches the smallest of pieces. Look at that stuff. That's right. And there's lots of pieces. If, there, if that's the kind of gold you're getting out of a one gallon milk jug, I want in. I want in on that bad. I can't thank you enough, Daniel. Awesome. Ooh wee, that was a lot of small gold. Thank you very much, Daniel. If that's what you're getting out of a one gallon jug, really? Hundreds and hundreds of pieces of gold? Everybody in America wants in on that. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, it is on my bucket list. So that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Flower Gold Wizards in the can. And that's where that gold went. In my 15,000 subscriber giveaway can. So until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build my channel. Check out my Patreon page in the description below. We're giving away a gold cube this month. Flower Gold Wizards out. Oh.